Section 3 starts on measure 13 of the sheet music, on beat 2. So from the previous section, we'll be holding a B-flat triad, and then we're going to come in on beat 2 with B-flat octave in your right hand. We're going to play that twice. We're going to keep the B-flat in our fifth finger and move to a D with our second finger, and then move the second finger up again to E-flat. Finally, second finger to third finger on an F. So that's going to sound like from the previous section one, so one, two, and three, and four, and one. And then our next chord is this big E flat chord, which is basically an E flat triad, E flat G. just makes the chord sound a little bit bigger. So that whole little bit is going to sound like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and... So this section we can add a few grace notes to as well, um, and they'll sound like this. One, two, and three, and four. So basically all I did to change that was instead of playing this E flat chord all at once, I sort of rolled up like that. And then instead of playing the B flat chord like this, I just added a grace note. So one more time with the grace notes. One, two, and three. part of this section is really easy because it's the same thing but it just cuts off a little earlier so it sounds like this one two and three and four and one now let's learn the left hand of this section the left hand follows the movement of the right hand pretty closely so again we're going to start on beat two and we'll start with a low B flat so it's one two to a D, then an E flat, F, and so that rhythm will be one, two, and three, and four, and one. And after this F, we're going to go to a, a big octave F, and octave Fs again, and then to finger three, B flat. So that'll sound like this, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and... And again, the next section is the same thing, but just it gets cut short a little bit. And we'll start on B2, finger five, B flat, one, two, and three, and four, and one. So hands together. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. Okay, on to the last section. This starts with a pickup in measure 16. Let's start by learning the right hand, which begins on the and of beat three with an F, G, and B flat. And a note to those of you who are reading the sheet music, we're going to play the right hand of this last section one octave lower than it's written. So again, the first three notes, F, G, B flat, and that starts on the and of three like this. One, two, three, and four, and... And then right after that and of four with the B flat, we're going to go to a C minor triad first inversion. 
So that's E flat, G, C. And we play that twice. So that with the pickup is one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four. And then we have another pickup note, which is a B flat single note, which we'll play with finger four. And that leads us to a D minor triad, which we play twice. And this is a first inversion D minor triad with an F, A, and D. So let's do all that. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. <coughs> okay, so after the D minor triad, we're going to shift our hand up so that our thumb is on middle C. And then we're going to play some more pickup notes. C, D, F. And that's going to lead us to our G minor triad in first inversion. B flat, D, G, down to F in first inversion. F major in first inversion. A, C, F. So those last two measures with the pickup are going to sound like this. And four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. So I'll play the whole right hand for the last section, nice and slow. One, two, three, and four. step again is to add a few grace notes. So those come in on the pickup lines. So for the first pickup, instead of F, G, B flat, we're going to play F and then a grace note from F sharp to G natural like this. We'll just slide up with our second finger. here with this pickup. Instead of that, we're going to slide up to our D from a C sharp. So I'll play that whole section with the grace notes. One, two, three. For the left hand, which starts when we play our C minor triad in first inversion, it's just octave C's, one, two, and three, four, then to octave D's, one, two, and three, four, and then thumb on G, second finger on F, G, F, G, F, G. So hands together that last section will sound like this. One, two, three. Okay, that's it for the written arrangement. For the advanced players out there, the last step would be to add some embellishment to really make this arrangement your own. Experiment with varying the written rhythms by adding... <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, that's it for the written arrangement. For the advanced players out there, the last step is to add some embellishment to make this arrangement your own. Experiment with varying the written rhythms by adding extra pickup notes to give the piece more momentum and groove. This will sound something like this.
I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Visit thepianoshed.com for sheet music and more lessons. Happy shedding, everyone.